Hi there. Welcome to Scientific Ventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at uh, direct proportionality while we're driving through Colorado here. Um, uh, direct proportionality is basically, in the simplest terms, it means that if you have two uh, variables, uh, if one of them increases, don't think of that as a thumbs up, then the other one increases. It, thumbs up also. So when you have two things that when one increases it causes an increase in the other, those would be considered directly proportional. Of course the opposite would be true as well. If one of them decreases, the other would decrease as well. So uh, one, it actually goes beyond that. It's not just simply does it increase, but it's mathematically does it increase by the same amount. So for example, uh, if something were to double, then the other thing would double as well, okay? Uh, a simple example of this is if I went to go buy some uh, PCH chili cheese dogs, well, if I want to buy one of them, it's gonna cost me 275. If I wanna buy two of them, it's gonna cost me 550, twice as much. So when one doubles, the other one doubles, okay? Uh, another example of direct proportionality, uh, we're uh, looking at right now, uh, it's about 900 miles to home, and um, and that's going to take us a certain amount of time. Well, if I wanted to drive 1,800 miles, twice as far, then we'd have to double the amount of time it would take. Now, with that example, you would notice that it's important that we keep the speed constant if we want to see the direct proportionality between distance and time. Um, if we don't keep the speed constant, then we can't see the direct proportionality as easily, but that doesn't mean it's not still there. Still, the farther you go, the longer it's going to take, and it's a mathematical uh, function. So when we talk about that, we'd say uh, one object is directly proportional to another uh, variable. Okay, like distance is directly, or more specifically, I suppose I should say, the distance a car travels is directly proportional to the amount of time that it travels. Um, and that's it, direct proportionality.